Welcome to part 16 of the Ratchet and Clank Let's Play. Happy 2017, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully I am more active this year as opposed to last year. But unfortunately, because of my slacking due to co well, that in college as well, considering the fact like, that I had a lot of work to do this semester. And I'm not going to be coming back until the 17th of this month, actually. So, just a little hits up there. But regardless, we are now content. We are... Welcome to part 16 of Ratchet and Clank, ladies and gentlemen, just to go back to that. And in this part, we are going to be going into the rest of Planet Hoven, where, where, where we, well, this time we're actually going to be saving the goddamn planet from utter annihilation. And as far as this part of the level goes, we're definitely going to be having helicopters, but the best way to take them out is by simply using your, well, Devastator. If the Devastator kicks him, up, kicks him out of the sky in one punch. Well, at least it packs a punch, I should say. So, here's a helicopter right here. Boom. Like that. I didn't even have to go in the first person in view and I can just one-shot him easily. Going in the first person view, it does help out a lot, but when it comes to the tougher enemies, I recommend and just blind fire. The bullets, rock, the bullets slash rockets or whatever or weapon that you got in terms of ammunition, and it does have, they do have a bit of homing properties to them. So, so don't be afraid to go nuts with some of your weapons. Although I, what, although I wouldn't recommend you go too nuts with your weapons, considering how limited your ammo is, is as well as bolts. So. You can go crazy, but not too crazy with the with the weapons. This this part of the level actually is pretty short too. In fact, this is one of the reasons why this part is a little shorter than in some others. I think it's a, at least almost 15, 13 minutes. I almost said fifteen. But after this, I I actually got to consider like um um cleaning out some. Precious hard drive space, cause I'm, it just just so I can continue on with the LP and stuff like that. Maybe I've, maybe after I get this part up on YouTube, I'll delete all the previous parts just to get, well, just to get all the other parts in and shit like that. <laughs> There's really not much else to left to Planet Hoven. To be perfectly honest, although, yeah, there's really, oh, yeah, the guy just pops out, but when you go for it, oh, now he's back. <laughs> that, that's, that's kind of weird. That, that's really weird. What about your Devastator? Aim at the group of Blorg soldiers. And that can only help out so much. I don't know how the hell I survived that. You know, I su again, I survived some of the most questionable shit. I spent, at least I've been surviving some of the most questionable shit recently. <laughs> he like crashed one and that one dark level where I just wug it throughout the entire level and then all of a sudden, and oh, I'm fine. <laughs> That's crazy, you know? Uh, anyhow, cutscene's coming up. Enjoy. As soon we are too late. The ship is leaving. Hang on. There's an old defense turret over there. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. As a place. <laughs> it's all right. So, considering the fact that we have to man this turret, we all know what to do. We have to shoot this ship down, and this is definitely one of the more annoying parts of the game because as in order to damage this ship first off, you have to aim at the turrets. It's, I don't think the regular tur turret bullets themselves hurt you as much. At least, I don't think they hurt you at all. And I think your biggest, con the bigger concern is that you have, you have these helicopters coming at you. And don't. So it's pretty much encouraging you to not waste your, to not waste too much time, aim on the helicopter, on the turrets, just so you can clear out the old turrets that are firing you. Uh, well, the turret, yeah. The helicopters that are, are that are firing rockets at you. The biggest pain in the ass with this part, though, is that 
Now, as you can see, they love they love to constantly spawn in groups. So, so it's very it's very easy to die in this part. Not to mention the control, the turret controls also feel a little slippery. Or at least they just feel a little loose. So here I'm obviously not gonna make it. Ah, crap. Ugh. Anywho, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> so, here I am, trying to go to the turret, you know. Oh, bullshit! Okay, so the regular turret bullets can hurt you. It's just that when you're playing as Ratchet, right, normally, but as soon, but as soon as you get to the turret, oh, that's fine. So, I guess the regular bullets do are a bit of a threat, especially when you're trying to get to the damn thing. Especially when you're trying to get to the damn turret. Thank God I didn't- Thank God I only lost like two nanotech from that. Hey, you know? I mean, to be fair, at least the turret has its own like health bar. So it can take a little bit- a lot more damage and punishment. It, Cause if it was running off the same health bar, that would've been cruel. You know? But still, this part is rather annoying. You have all these helicopters, the controls on the turret feel a little loose. Those enemies just like to ambush you. No matter what. So here I am. Just... Just... Do -do 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 -do, trying to destroy these turrets. Destroy the ship. Come on, you can do it. Yes! No, oh wait, no, never mind. I thought I thought the I thought the ship actually exploded. Come on, you can do it. Don't try to wing it. Yes. Although I should have destroyed the planet anyway. Men, you are about to embark on a very dangerous mission. We will be launching a heavily armed surprise attack from our new moon base against a completely unarmed planet. Actually, that doesn't sound too dangerous. <clears throat> Nevertheless, your orders are simple. Destroy anything that moves. Steal the power generators from Gorda City. Then, destroy anything that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have fun. We must get to the moon base and stop Drek. No, we have to get to the moon base to find Quark. If Drek is there, Quark is probably with him. But Drek is going to destroy that city. We must get to the base. That's what I said. No, that is what I said. Fine. 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 <laughs> and that and that is pretty much it with Planet Hoven, the ice level. I actually managed to get that on my second try too. When I was test playing this game, it might die a lot more. But anywho, we got the Walloper. And the Walloper, well, as if I can at least show it off, it does one hell of a punch. And it's definitely powerful, it doesn't rely on ammo, and it's definitely going to be helpful in one of the later levels in the game. So for the rest of this part, unfortunately, this is going to be yet some more backtracking for some gold bolts now that I got a certain clank upgrade. So first, let's head to Planet Navalis one last time. Hey, hey there's... What, you, what we need to do here now that we have the O2 mask and the Hydro Pack, we can now we'll swim through this river and fight the current. And this may take a little bit, but... Yeah. Because believe it or not, the reason why we, we want to go down this river is because there's actually a one more area that we actually haven't really seen yet and it's quite interesting that it's quite interesting to note that at an extra area that we haven't really seen yet and an area where we're gonna have to visit later on it's like how should I put it it's very my my damn voice it's very interesting to see how oh well, this kind of stuff can appear in the one of the first one of the first levels of the game. Like you'd expect something like um Planet Eudora or something. Then again, and that's me liking that level way oh, way too much. Just gotta swim through this current right here. 
Boom. I'll take whip out the Pyrocitor because there's amoeboid creatures here. And you know what to do. At this point with these guys. So now we're in this amoeboid cavern and again this is actually one of the more interesting this is actually really interesting considering the fact that this is one of the few this is actually one instance where a, a hidden area is hidden within the very one of the first levels of the game you know I don't really count El Veldin since that's pretty much like a tutorial stage but in terms of like the like a first stage like this is the first stage and it has like a hidden area this is it's actually quite interesting. There's really no oh, real significance to this level though, considering the fact that you really, you're only really just here to get a gold bolt that's, that's hidden by a wall jump, uh, that's hidden by a few wall jump panels. But regardless, you just gotta, yeah. Fun, and in the remake actually, in Planet Novalis, there's actually no. This area doesn't exist in Planet Novalis. Like they took out this area. In fact, and this may, and this is actually gonna put spoilers on the Ratchet and Clank 2016 game. But in terms of Planet Novalis, this place gets destroyed by a uh, by the Deplanetizer. Well, know about you'll know about the Deplanetizer later on in the game. But damn, <laughs> yeah, that like this. This planet gets destroyed later on, so it's uh pretty crazy. <laughs> this area actually looked beautiful in the uh, remake too. Well, not this area in particular, but the out the outside areas like the grassy area, like the grass. Well, the outer grassy areas and the sewer caverns, the where we the area where we met the plumber at, that area. But that is pretty much it with uh, Planet of Allis. We can easily just use the Hydro Pack to, to go on out of there, no problem. And now we have to go to Planet Rilgar. Where I believe... Well, we're not going here one last time, but... Yes, another gold bolt I, I missed is one in Planet Rilgar. There's actually another gold bolt I missed and it was actually on Planet Orkson. And yeah, I was kind of lying to myself when I realized that, oh shit, there's actually another gold bolt that I missed. Is it the one with the Visibon was the only one. I'll show that off when I get to, I'll show that off in the next part. It just, before I get to the next stage. But in terms of this gold bolt, now this is a gold bolt I could get without the Hydro Pack. But, it, with the Hydro Pack it makes it so much faster. So in the area where we had to run away from the rising water, or otherwise we die. Hey, okay, since this area is completely filled with water, and now that we have the O2 mask, we can swim through this. We can swim through this corridor, but instead of moving out the level, we swim down here, and we swim through this pipe. It's a bit hard to see because it's blue, but once you're, but once you start swimming in bright piss. Then you get the gold bolt. Okay, I know it's not piss, but and it's really just rather the color of the cavern, but still, this is. But come on, it seriously looked like you're swimming in piss. That's some real Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. That's Conqueror's Bad Fur Day shit right there. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's rather, it's rather crazy. So that is pretty much it for part 16, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize that this part was really short, and as well as. Missing another gold bolt on Planet Orkson. Again, I will be showing that off in the next in the next video, which is part 17. As for part 17, not only am I going to show that gold bolt, but we're also going to be going into Gimlik Base, that's in orbit of of Planet Ultanis. With all that being said, I am Game Man 5804, and I wish you all a happy 2017. Let's hope this year is good. <laughs>